Welcome to Weber's brand new pellet grill, the Searwood XL. The first thing we want to talk about is the 630 square inch primary cooking area. That's going to be these bottom grates here. If you add the top grate, that gets you all the way to 972 square inches. Next up, we'll talk about our 20 pound pellet hopper, which is pretty standard for a lot of pellet grills these days. One of the things I absolutely love about the Searwood XL is you can pull this little lever and it lets you drain your pellets just so you can change them out, add different flavors if you want. Now before we get too far into the video, I do want to let you guys know that Weber did send us this grill. We did not pay for it, but we were told that all of the opinions that we have on this grill, we are completely free to share with you, which is exactly what we're going to do today. Now with this being called the Searwood, this does get up to those high temperatures all the way to 600 degrees, which is what the manual is going to tell you. But I can let you guys know that we got this up to upwards of 650 degrees to make steaks the other night. This thing is a searing machine. Now for your smoking temperatures, you can get it down to 180 degrees, which is quite low, but it could be used as a hot hold for a brisket, for ribs, or for any larger cut of meat. Now another thing when it comes to the Searwood XL is the accessories. You definitely want to be on the lookout for those. We do have the side table. There's also a front table. There's a griddle attachment that we did get when we got this griddle. Also there's a rotisserie attachment that we plan on using as well. Let us know down below which one you want us to try first, but these are definitely something to look out for. The grease trap on the Searwood XL is extremely simple as well. It's located at the bottom. It has a nice liner in there that's going to make it really simple for me to clean this up every single time. And as far as pellet grills go, one of the best things about them is the technology that comes with them. So you can use your smartphone for a lot of the features that are on this Searwood XL. Now, just like our controller, you could see some of our features of the Searwood XL here. You can start smoke boost from here and you see a notification. This is basically telling us that it's gonna drop to 180 degrees, but it's gonna up the smoke boost. That's gonna allow for extra smoke flavor anytime you're smoking your meats. Now manual mode is actually gonna allow us to set the mode of our pellet feed. This is gonna allow us to have the lid open while continuously feeding pellets, meaning that we can have our temperatures remaining at a high level if we use the griddle attachment or if we're searing off steaks. Another thing about it is you can set your grill temperature from your phone. So if you want to raise it or lower it while you're inside doing some preparation or just anything else, you can do it really quickly. Now, one of the other great features is you can monitor your probe temperature. So we have this plugged into our pellet grill. You can see right here that it's sitting at 84 degrees. If this was in a brisket, we could be monitoring that brisket the whole time just to make sure we don't overcook or undercook anything. Now, one of the best things about this Searwood XL, in my opinion, is the PID controller. They have a feature called rapid react, meaning if I open the lid on this pellet grill, it's going to lose temperature, but rapid react allows it to get back to temperature very quickly. So you're not losing as much cooking time. Now, as far as pellet grills go, the wife and I have not owned very many of these, but I can honestly say that this Weber Searwood XL is the sexiest pellet grill that I've ever seen with my own two eyes. It just has that beautiful black Weber look, has the nice accents, and everything about this just screams beauty. And of course, it's also a Haas. Now, if you guys wanna try out the new Weber Searwood XL, there will be a link in the description below. That link will support the channel. And if you guys wanna see us cook anything in specific on our brand new pellet grill, let us know in the comments down below. We'll be happy to oblige. As always, we really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Check out this brand new pellet grill. Looks amazing. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.